Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So if viewer asks, will the Trump Organization survive? Will the Trump Organization survive? And I think I've asked this before, I've answered this before, but I'll just go ahead and do it again now. This will be a little extra video for today. So will Trump Org survive? Simple. Full uh, Celtic Cross. Okay, so this is the newest deck I've got. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Um, it's just another take on uh, from Los Scarbio on um, the um, the classic uh, Rider Waite Tarot. But uh, apparently this person wise has had their input into it. And uh, th what I love about it, first of all, it's got a great container. I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, but what I think about it, and I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box, I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're going to see. It's a close-up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look, in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves, I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And, you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks. It's in a few different languages, and it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divine the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific uh, synopsis of uh, how uh, uh, this uh, uh, Rider weight uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about author weight and Pamela Coleman Smith who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic theory and history of all of that. Um, it, is, it gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the cards. So I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now the cards themselves, they got a cool back, they're kind of shiny and, um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close-up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique -y kind of a, a feel. So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems and so in that they're close up, but they're still vibrant with color. And I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in the typical tarot drawing and that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at when, before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, then there's a third uh, benefit is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle or, or and then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot and I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck. So the Trump companies, if you're asks, will the Trump companies survive? Will Trump Org survive? And what Trump Org is, is a conglomeration of a bunch of, uh, a bunch of different uh, LLCs. So will, will it survive? Will it survive? Let's uh, do a full Celtic cross. We'll shuffle these up and uh, cut them. Came out here. So we got uh, something you don't want, a uh, message of, well, of uh, value, and distributing the wealth. Hmm, interesting. So will, will Trump Org survive? Will Trump Org survive? Okay, so we'll cut them, spread them out, and take six cards at first. Trump Org, will it survive? It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we'll get the last four cards after we read these uh, six. Trump Org, will it survive? And um, like I say, I thought I had read on this before, but um, I guess we'll just check it out again. Uh, the signifier card of will the Trump Organization survive is the King of Pentacles. You know, the King of Pentacles is, is, is in charge of the uh, of his value he's in charge of his so uh, this is a big yes card uh that's challenged by what that's challenged by wondering if we've done enough so one could s think that all of these are the various uh, llc's that make up the trump organization and so this fellow is looking at all of these he's, he's harvested one and wondering if he's done enough interesting 
Very interesting. The basis of this reading then is celebrations. Celebrations. Enough said. Three people there saying, yeah, we're going to make it work. I wonder if these are the kids, uh, the, the adult uh, uh, offspring. And then um, the past of this reading uh, then is the Queen of Cups. So with some compassion. Uh, so we came at this uh, with some emotion, some compassion. And then in the sky of this reading is wanting things the way they were. And of course they do. They want to uh, take things back to the way they were before all of this, all of these issues came about. Will the Cup organization survive? And so far it's looking like it probably in some fashion will survive, probably pared down. And then the likely outcome for the first part of this cross is it's a it's a crapshoot. It's a wheel, the wheel of fortune. And uh, I like to say that the wheel of fortune is moving in a positive direction, but you can't notice that you can't help but notice that there's a little devil right here as we're turning around. So um, this suggests that there's a good chance that something uh, will survive. So let's take the last four cards of that and see uh, what we have for the self, the self of Trump organization. It is okay being uh, carried uh, a knight with a cup of compassion. Huh, that's very interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to leave it at that. A knight with a cup of compassion. And then the uh, environment that that knight is in is what? The magician. Of course it is. You know, really having so many tools to uh, make uh, something happen uh, the way you want it to happen. And then the hopes and the fears for all of that right here are going to be, ah, plenty. Uh, this is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who is just really awash, plenty of wealth, even more than they really need. Uh, so that's the hope and the fears to save, to save the wealth. And then the uh, likely outcome of all of this, will the Trump Organization survive? It looks like, again, it's a great big offer of, of value here. And I have to say, yeah, I think in some fashion that organization is going to keep on. Well, it's not at all the reading that I wanted to have, but uh, I mean, quite simply, I asked, will the Trump organization survive? And the first card right out of the out of the uh, stock is the King of Pentacles. So there you go. Um, the challenge to it is, uh, you know, making sure uh, that you've harvested uh, whatever you can uh, from that crop. Uh, the basis of it uh, was celebrations. I wonder if that's, uh, you know, the three grown uh, offspring. Um, in the sky of that reading, we had uh, wanting things the way they were in the past. And then uh, the likely outcome for that first part of that Celtic cross was uh, the Wheel of Fortune. You know, it's a crapshoot. And uh, I think the Wheel of Fortune usually turns in the favor of the of the querent, which is uh, will, uh, in this case it was the question, uh, will the Trump Organization survive? And then just to, to shore it up, uh, the self of that question was the uh, Knight of the Cup. So that's a Knight of Compassion, uh, which I guess the law has to go about this in a, in a fair uh, manner um, uh, in the environment of what in the environment of a magician having all the tools that one needs to bring something about the hopes and the fears uh, of course are the nine of pentacles which is a lot of abundance and then the final outcome of the whole thing again was a great big offer of value and so it looks like in some fashion that organization is going to make it uh, even beyond this so we'll see i could be wrong i could be right who knows we'll wait and see Hope I'm uh, wrong. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.